What's the word, Harrisburg? My name is Matt Mazel. We are coming to you from the beautiful Whitaker Center in downtown Harrisburg. And our guest has graciously made us her guest here at the Whitaker Center. It's new president and CEO, uh, Mary Oliveira. Mary, thank you so much for having us here. Beautiful you, building Matt. decked out for the holidays and everything. Welcome. Absolutely. Appreciate you spending time with us today and here celebrating as we're lively mm -hmm. and, you know, opening up our doors for the community to come spend a little bit of their holiday time with us. So just started here as uh, president and CEO. When exactly was your uh, first date? I officially joined Whitaker Center team on November 6th. So I'm literally 30 days into the role of president and CEO here at Whitaker Center and couldn't be more excited. And coming to the Whitaker Center uh, after a long career working with local businesses, you were with the Pennsylvania Chamber, uh, PSECU, United Way, you were on Governor Shapiro's advisory committee for women. Um, what made the Whitaker Center the right choice for you at this stage in your career? Well, that's a great question. I am a multi-generational Central Pennsylvania. So my parents, both working for our state government, grew up uh, in this area, graduated from a school district that my children then graduated from, and I was proud to serve on the school board there. So it means a lot to me to have those deep roots in the community and to have the opportunity with such a cornerstone of the Harrisburg region open its doors and welcome me as the first female president and CEO, which also allows me to serve in my role model for the young women coming behind me. It was like a dream come true. What, just out of curiosity, what school district? Uh, East Pennsboro. East Pennsboro, yes, okay, yes. got it. So, I mean, you're right across the river, which yes. means Harrisburg has always kind of been a part of you and your family. When you, when you think about downtown Harrisburg, um, and, and obviously the Whitaker Center kind of came to rise during the, towards the end of the Reed administration, what do you think of when, when you, you talk about downtown Harrisburg in terms of what it is now and, and what it could be? vibrant comes to mind you know I remember um, moving back to Pennsylvania actually in September of 99 right as Whitaker opened its doors and was really excited just to see where I was bringing my family having uh, our children grow up again just like I did with the memories of uh, all the things that we did coming to Whitaker with my young children as they were growing up to see the Nutcracker having several siblings mm -hmm. participate in that over the years too being entrenched in the arts as a family here so vibrant is the word that comes to mind and to be so um, excited to be a part of bringing vibrancy back, you know, post pandemic, what Whitaker can become as we're approaching our 25th anniversary next year. We've got a lot of exciting things that we're working on. What is Whitaker Next going to be all about? So we're excited to work that plan and then execute it for the community. Okay, you're lobbing softballs to me, so I'm just going to ask <laughs> we're just you, gonna what, keep rolling what, with what, it. what can Whitaker be next? I think it's got to be a great infusion of all of the different personalities that we have under this building. So we've long known that Whitaker brings amazing educational programming for the community. We focus on STEAM. We've got a separation with a, mm -hmm. a, a great program just for girls in STEAM. We do Little Learners, which is pre-K curriculum. We do uh, Surgery Live, which actually we had over 200 high school students in the building this morning with our partners at Highmark and Penn State Health watching a live video feed of a surgery happening wow. really enticing workforce development hopefully yeah. for our healthcare, you know field and our partners there we have our Whitaker on wheels it's a mobile Whitaker Center that goes out into the communities and brings Whitaker to the kids who can't make it in to visit us and then there's the arts and entertainment side so we have this beautiful performing arts mm -hmm. theater the digital cinema there's just so much opportunity to keep bringing and upping the game for programming to just make this place come alive with guests so when I have these conversations I like to invoke my kids. I have a six-year-old yeah. and a daughter who's about to be four years old. Uh, and I like invoking them because people who watch this tend to be parents as well. Um, so there, there's a, a, a relatability aspect, I, gu yeah. I guess you could say. I love bringing the kids here for the, usually when there's an exhibit downstairs, mm -hmm. there's a big exhibit downstairs. They like playing in the, the, the kids area uh, on the first floor here, but they love going to see whatever exhibits downstairs. Um, so there's, when, when someone new comes in, mm -hmm. there's always naturally the question of, there are things to change because change is not necessarily a bad thing, Correct. but there's also plenty of things that Whitaker does really well. So let me start there. What is it about Whitaker Center right now that fans of the Whitaker Center, members, people of Harrisburg can expect to see more of moving forward? 
I think the beauty of Whitaker Center for our guests today and what we want to build upon for the guests of tomorrow is there's a little bit of everything for everybody. You know, like you experience with your own children, the hands-on labs that we have in the Science Center and the ever-changing traveling exhibit. So currently our space exhibit is in till the end of the year, so something to do over mm -hmm. that holiday break, yeah. you know, if it's rainy or snowy outside. And then we're looking forward to bringing something new and exciting in for the spring season as well that balances off what stays and remains all year long with our own hands-on learning exhibits that we have to offer. But maybe that's not for you. Our PNC Innovation Zone, which is probably the newest addition to Whitaker Center, is innovative. It's one of a first of its kind nationally to take video gaming into the educational realm. And whether it's field trips with students, whether it's professionals who want to come in and have a gaming night and compete against each other, there's a little something for all ages. So our guests are big and small all and, at the same time. And you have Harrisburg University literally a block yes. away with a nationally renowned uh, gaming program right there to kind of uh, and I believe they call the basement kind of home base, right? There, they there's, do. There's a video They've gaming taken center. up residency right here in Whitaker Center. So the storm, right. literally taking esports by storm. So what's in a name is so appropriate. A great partnership with uh, President Dar and the entire team at Harrisburg University. Just meeting in my first 30 days with them to talk about the collaboration and the partnership to really step out and, you know, bring to the community, you know, enhanced opportunities to come into our building and relate with both of our organizations. But as we mentioned also, change is not necessarily a bad thing. Correct. Uh, change can bring a lot of you know, new ideas, having new leadership in brings new ideas. Where do you see, let, let, let's just say the next five years, um, where do you see the next five years with Whitaker Center going in terms of changes that can be made? That's the million dollar question. I'm getting it everywhere. What's your plan? What's your strategy? What I'm doing right now is very intentionally taking time to do a listening tour. Started with the Whitaker team. We're working with our board and our community partners, and that's going to extend to Mayor Williams and her administration, to our county officials, our state officials, more importantly, our guests, our members who expect us to bring them incredible programming and offerings. What are they looking for it to be? I think it's necessary that all voices are heard as we build that plan, so we want to be intentional about about asking questions, taking good notes, and then seeing where it leads us. I was just recently here for an amazing concert. I know concerts kind of come and go is, is uh, putting more shows into the uh, Sunoco Performance Theater is, is something like that kind of uh, on the agenda. Top of my list. I come from a family of artists, so I already have the, you know, yeah. family dinners on Sunday evening saying, okay, what about this? What about that? And I think with this beautiful performing arts theater that we have, it definitely needs to have the lights lit up every single night. And when I think about the impact on the Harrisburg community, guests coming in to have dinner at the restaurants downtown and then coming in for the concert or the show or vice versa, bringing guests in from out of town that are then putting heads in beds for our friends at the Hilton or any mm -hmm. of the surrounding areas. The ripple effect of what we can do for programming here extends beyond Whitaker Walls. And that's where your business acumen comes into play. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Having worked with the Pennsylvania Chamber. Exactly. Uh, that, that's kind of where that uh, comes into play. Um, where do you see your role kind of with the city? So now I'm putting on my, my, on your city, my hat. city hat, yeah. communications director, working with the mayor every single day. Where, where do you see your role kind of working with the mayor being um, kind of moving forward as you get adjusted and acclimated into this role? Absolutely. Historically and traditionally, the relationship, obviously, with the city administration, if it weren't for Mayor Reed, would Whitaker be here today? Mm -hmm. He was definitely a force behind bringing this to completion. And I look forward to working with Mayor Williams and her administration to see what her plans are for the city, the resurgence of downtown, the welcoming arms to a very diverse and inclusive community that feels as if they belong both within Whitaker walls and anywhere on the streets of Harrisburg that we know are safe and fun to be in. So I know there's a limit to what you can say coming up in the very short term, yeah. 2024 being the 25th anniversary year of the Whitaker Center. Um, what can you tell us, even if it's just a little, a little bit of teaser. a taste, a little bit of a teaser, uh, that is that 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 families can expect here um, just over the next couple months, even. I think what I'm going to draw upon from my experience, most notably at the chamber, 
uh, the Pennsylvania Chamber is it's all about collaboration and it's all about partnerships. Not one of us can do it on our own. And so we've got some great conversations happening with a lot of community partners who are excited about Whitaker Next, the next chapter, the next 25 years and want to be a part of that story. Uh, we've got some great announcements kicking off just in January after the new year about a positive impact for our community with just one of those partners. And I know it's just the beginning of many more to come. All right, Mary Oliveira, thank you so much. This has been such an enlightening conversation conversation uh, as we help you to move Whitaker Center forward over the next uh, 25 years. Um, I mean, next 25 months are going to be uh, interesting for you exactly. as you get adjusted into this role, but the next 25 years also as we celebrate the 25th year anniversary in 2024. Congratulations on your new Thank role. You, Matt. Looking forward to working with you in the future. Same. Appreciate the time. Thank and that, you. And that is the word Harrisburg. Thank you so much for joining us here on WHBG Channel 20. We'll catch you next time. Take care.